Good morning. Don't know if you can see me, it's still pretty dark. Uh, it's a logistical explosion today. Uh, I'm hopefully getting three big lorries and a lime spreading contractor arriving all at the farm today before I go into work. So we'll see if the plans of mice and men are uh, ready to be enacted. So I'm just walking up to the top to meet James and we'll see what happens. Well, the plan is coming together. The lime lorry's gonna be late. But the main thing is James is here with the spreader and he'll make sure the lime lorry comes and does what it should do. Here he comes, look. Right. Spot actually. Yeah. Where's the gateway into that field? Uh, if you go, the, the easiest way yeah. is go down there, there and there's the gates right opposite. Yeah. It's a big 15 foot gate yeah. so you can swing right yeah, through. Perfect. Thank you. No worries. Some of the fields, are, the pH is getting a bit low, so a bit too acidic and uh, I tested the soil last year uh, and it's a great time to apply it now before the growing season while everything's so dry. So you might ask, why does uh, the pH of a soil change over time? Well, most agricultural soils can start to reduce in pH over time. That's for a number of reasons. I think that the underlying soil type and the bedrock it's formed from sort of dictates the whether you're in an acidic soil or an alkali soil area. It's quite acidic around here. So the sort of things that cause it are applying certain fertilizers. So some ammonium nitrate fertilizers can cause the soil to go acidic. 
natural processes in the soil from weathering bedrock can cause it to go acidic. Uh, and on this soil, I find that it sort of drops slowly, slowly, slowly over time from the neutral that it sort of should be for good great growing of crops say over seven eight nine years you'll lose a couple of ph points So I'll make use of John's tractor here and use it as a desk and I'll show you one of my soil analyses. So here we go. I'll try and see if we can see it on the camera. You can see that the pH on testing was 5.9 and the recommendation is that it's slightly low, it should be at a guideline six. Well, in reality, a lot of, that really is only very slightly low, but uh, some of my fields are much lower, sort of near a 5.6, 5.7, which is too low really for a, what I like. And effectively I've got a low, buy it by the, I don't know, 16 or 17 ton lorry load. So, to order in enough to make it worthwhile to get in the contractors and everything, I will just correct these, even these low fields. You can see that the other nutrients, so phosphorus, which is 
often seen on fertilizer bags and things like that as P and potassium, which is K. I'm uh, really where I need to be. So why does pH even affect the way a crop works? Well, it's, it's essentially it's to do with soil chemistry. Now I'm dodgy ground here because I work with some of the top soil scientists in the country. So if they happen to tune in, I'm, I'm skirting around my, uh, into, what, into their knowledge base. Right, anyway. Certain chemicals become more soluble at certain pHs. So if the pH is too acidic or too alkali, plant nutrients might not dissolve in the soil. And if they can't dissolve, they can't be taken up by the roots. Therefore, they can't create a successful crop. So for agricultural crops, particularly in my circumstances, grassland, the solubility of potassium, phosphorus and the micronutrients that graze it, grass requires, is much more plant available when the pH is correct. So it's well worthwhile correcting the pH because if you've got very acidic or very alkali soils and you're spending these days thousands of pounds on fertilizer you're wasting your dough because the, the nutrient won't be available to the plant. So if you're going to spend money on fertilizer, the first fertilizer to check is lime. And don't spend any more money until you've got your pH right. Here endeth the lesson.
Well, there you go. Everything's now covered in a film of grey dust. Uh, waiting for a drop of rain to wash it into the top of the soil. Uh, it's been so dry though, I don't know when that drop of rain will come. So we'll see. Uh, I'll probably test the soil again in... Now I probably won't test it again for another maybe two or three years. And uh, we'll, we'll see if the money I've spent has taken any effect. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Keep on watching, keep on commenting. It's always nice to see the subscriptions going up as well, so please subscribe. And see you next time. Cheerio! Thank you.